Our guest today is Mary Mwangi, founder and CEO of Data Integrated. Mary is not just a tech entrepreneur. She has a passion for reading romance novels and finds joy in spending time with children, which gives her an excuse to bring the child out in her. She inherited her beloved companion dog, April, when her daughter went off to college. Mary's company is unique in that it operates as two companies in one, Data Integrated and Mobitil. Remarkably, for most of her staff, this is their first job, and many developers have grown with the company, with most of the staff being under 30 years old. Not to mention, the two most popular people in the company are in the catering department, who keep the team well-fed and happy. In her talk, Mary shares how trust has been a cornerstone of her journey and the pivotal role it has played in her success. Tune in. I had a boss once and she asked me, do you trust freely or do you let people earn your trust? Coming from Kenya in Africa, I think this is something all of us would have to say, we wait for people to earn our trust. So to me, it seemed foreign when she said, I trust everyone until they prove otherwise. So we started building data integrated. And the thing was, there was a lot of mistrust in the SMEs for most businesses because trust is given to people who look like you, people you go to school with, people you understand, people at your church. And so when you're doing business, these are not the only people you're going to sell to. They're not the only people you're going to hire. And so we thought the challenges that SMEs are having we can build trust on a digital platform and allow them to grow their businesses without worrying about the person that they've left at the shop selling. And so we started building Data Integrated to build trust. And to build trust as an organization, we had to start with the employees, with ourselves. We had to make sure that within our team, we actually trust each other. Trust is an interesting thing. It's not something that you can really show. It's not something you can feel. I, I'm sorry, it is something that you can feel, but you can touch it, you can show it. But you know when you have trust. You know when you have trust within your companion, within your friends, and then within an organization. So we hired and looked at one of the core things will be trust. Then we started building a platform based on this trust. And then we realized there was so many interactions on a platform. There's the payments, there's the merchants, there's the employees, there's the customers, there's the partners. And how do you bring trust together in this? We're in the trust business. When you put a digital platform, you want people to trust it. People will use something that they trust. So at Data Integrated, I'm thinking I'm showing the kids. And the reason we do the kids things is because there's a lot of trust in the kids. There's a lot of trust in all this. I can move it. Oh, that's the puppy. They just trust fully, so back to the trust, and we move, and this is now the team. So a data integrated, like you see, we are very young, me included, not to say my age, but employees have to trust you. And this has been very useful, especially when you have young people leaving college, coming to join your organization, and then you're the one showing them direction. They're trusting their future, their career experience with you. So we have to be very careful on how we relate with the clients on this business. Then we moved on. That's our kitchen stuff. But um, we come to the product that you build. And the product itself, 
needs to be trustworthy. How do you build a platform in Africa and make it international and make sure that your investors, your users, and your other partners trust it? One of the easiest way for us was to incorporate international brands. These are the schemes, you integrate with them, you put that badge on your website, you say these are our key partners, so when your investors scroll on your website, they're able to tell we can trust this because we know this brand. So this was one of the things we've done to build a reliable product with partners that give us that trust that we ride on it. And on that journey, we are also able to build for ourselves. But have all the partnerships worked? Not necessarily. We've had a lot of them fail. And we've had a lot of the uh, products we've tried to build never see the light of day. Is it because the people didn't trust them? I want to say trust can also be timing. When things are too early, people don't know them. I remember when we were doing products and we were incorporating hardware onto our products. And we had software, we had hardware, and we were told hardware is too much. We can't. You should only do one thing. You should only do software. Now, what you do when you add hardware, you give it a label and you call it IoT. You call the devices IoT and everybody understands it. So now they trust you and they trust your product because it has a name. While previously we were doing FinTech, it didn't have a name. We we're doing software as a service, we were giving our services to clients. It didn't have a name. And sometimes you have to give things names and then people will learn to trust what is actually in that product. So we have software as a product. We have payment as a service, right? These are things that weren't even there before. So we will trust things when we give them names. And sometimes names have to be used often enough that people understand it then they will understand what that is they can trust. And this is where timing also comes in. Then after we've done all these things and you've built your product and the world knows and you understand, then you have to go back and see what is it that can actually be used purposefully for what you intended it to be. And there is when you come across others coming onto the platform, and these are the regulators, right? They catch up, and they catch up quickly, and they start asking, what is that that you're putting out in the market? Can we trust it? Then you have to go through a full certification process for your product to get that stamp that your product is actually worthy the trust of the government. And by doing this, you've gone through a full circle of ecosystem players, of the key stakeholders that will be using your product, that will be interacting with your company with a lot of stamps, with a lot of labels, and also a lot of tears because of this thing we call trust. But we can't do without trust. There's no business that can work without trust in all the things that we do. And as we do build digital platform, we have to build trust within those platforms. We have to bring trust within the industries that we work with to work more efficiently on our platforms. And so the one thing I would like us to take from here is 
no matter what, no matter how hard trust is, it is a key component that brings comfort, not just to us in our relationships, but also to our clients and to the future that we hope to build. Thank you very much. Thank you.